vote and it was defeated. Um, and uh, a few years before that there was the Lord Joffe bill which uh, also was defeated in the House of Lords. This one last year was defeated in the House of Commons. Uh, well, it's certainly not in Australia. I don't know about the UK. What do you think? Around the world, there are only a few countries that have euthanasia or assisted suicide legal. Euthanasia is legal in the Netherlands, Belgium, Ireland, Colombia and Luxembourg. Assisted suicide is legal in Switzerland, Germany, Japan, Albania, Canada, and in the US state of Washington, Oregon, Belmont, Montana, and California. Of course, not just anybody can choose to do this. All patients undergo a thorough psychiatric evaluation to make sure they're of sound mind. Yeah, look, that's a, it's a very good question, of course, and it's, a, it's the hardest question of all, because what's been, uh, the way the argument has tended to run in, uh, in recent times is the fact that because we can't tell that a person is always going to be of sound mind, and they may be a person who is of unsound mind, therefore incapable of making rational decisions, a person who lacks what they say in the psychiatric profession, a person who lacks capacity to make decisions in their best interest. Now, how do you know that a person might not be in that state if they have access to these drugs? And what usually follows from that is the fact that because we can't tell whether a person might be in that state, no one should have this option. And that's the way it is now. No one has the option because there could be someone who was of unsound mind accessing and using in an irresponsible way, way access to these drugs. It's so hard to see someone who was so independent and always out there and always helping other people to therefore you essentially swap roles because I was her full time carer. So I essentially became the mother of her. We completely swapped roles. So your mum used to feed you basically when you were a child, that then became my role. So she she lost all her movement from the feet up and then lost her speech, then wasn't able to talk. So if you have doctors who have this sort of philosophy of death, as I call it, who think that that's what should happen, if you then put the legal means for them to exercise that in their hands, which they don't have at the moment, then you can imagine all sorts of scenarios occurring. If it was a terminal illness and it's what they wanted, and uh, their quality of life is going to be severely diminished, and yes, it's worth it. That would certainly be very difficult, but I would yeah. consider it because you have to, you have your own opinion and feelings and emotions tied, but they certainly have their own if it's a terminal illness. Uh, yeah. Yes, I would consider it. Euthanasia is currently illegal under the UK law. Anyone who helps someone euthanize themselves could face up to 14 years of imprisonment. Attempting suicide itself is not an illegal act yet under the Suicide Act 1961 makes it a criminal offence in England to aid, abet, counsel or procure the suicide of another or an attempt of another to commit suicide. Many organisations and people protest against euthanasia 
and assisted suicide to remain illegal as there are many consequences that may come with this. As well as people protesting to legalise euthanasia since it should be their decision and not up to others. Relief because if this bill had gone through, the message that it was giving terminally ill and disabled people was that, you know, it's okay to end your life, that your life is, is worth less. Good evening. The House of Commons has voted decisively against proposals to give terminally ill patients the right to end their lives under medical supervision. The assisted dying bill would have given patients with less than six months to live the right to take a lethal dose of drugs if prescribed by two doctors and approved by a High Court judge. The campaign group Dignity in Dying said it showed that MPs were ridiculously out of touch with public opinion. But opponents said that the sick and elderly in England and Wales had been protected by today's vote. He was dying for five years. And I saw when life changed to being a burden. I think it's naive to believe that we can prevent the persuasion of an elderly, expensive or asset-rich relative being encouraged, coerced or emotionally blackmailed into taking their own life. Well, I think that becomes a more of a philosophical argument. I mean, I think the way I would argue that is that we see that the right to life is a, is a uh, fairly un... Uh, un uh, it's not a very controversial... Uh, consideration as a human right, you have the right to life, but people can't come along and take away that life. Now, if you've got the right to life as a human right, it seems to me that that's a gift. Everyone agrees it's a, it's a precious gift, the gift of life. But what sort of gift is it if you can't give it away at the time of your choosing? In other words, life may well be a precious gift, but I think along with that concept, the idea of having this precious gift, you must have the ability to dispose of it when you wish. That's my feeling. Now, any adult, I'm not talking about children who don't understand the permanence of death. I'm talking about adults of sound mind. But if an adult of sound mind decides that they don't want to live the life that they're living, they should be able to divest themselves of that life. That's the concept of it being a human right, a human right to be able to dispose of that life, remove it, take it away, end it peacefully and reliably. balance within the brain but that's something that we can work towards and there's so much help around you and that can be overcome through both medicine and through mindfulness and meditation and other means that unnecessarily get taken no way. We believe that after death there is another life so you if you stop your life stop suffering by challenging God then you we are Going to in his going to God's hand. We are going to go to God's hand. Completely, we'll have to surrender. Now I can make decision. Here, they are right. Uh, I will not have the the right to make decision. Can I die now? 